We will talk about how we can help person during road injury. Traffic crashes is huge problem for humanity. It accounts more than 1.35 million deaths per year and first hour of crash is crucial. It is also known as golden hour because adequate treatment at this period increases survival rate by 25%. So what can we do? Safety is first. You should check around if it's safe for you because you don't want to become another victim of accident. After you check safety, you call to emergency. After this, we can act according to clinical triangle. It is also known as ABC principle. It means airway, breathing, circulation. First, we check if airways are obstructed because in many cases, if person is unconscious, tongue may fall back, it can suppress airways. And what we can do, this manner is called head tilt chin lift technique. It means one hand is placed on the patient's forehead and other hand is used to lift the chin. And you should tilt the head backward. And at this case, airway will be opened and person can breathe freely. If you suspect spinal injury, at this case head movement is not recommended. That's why we using jaw thrust method. It means lifting the jaw forward without moving the head. You are essentially trying to bring the lower teeth in front of the upper teeth and you do this manner without moving head. So first is check airways. If they if it's obstructed you try head tilt chin lift technique. Second you listen if person is breathing. If breathing is abnormal or if the breathing is absent then we do CPR. CPR means cardiopulmonary resuscitation and it is composed by two components first is compression second second is rescue breath and how we can do compression one hand on the center of chest and other hand on the top of this hand and interlock your fingers like this you interlock these fingers and you press with your body and compress the chest at least two inches and the rate this compression rate should be 100 to 120 per minute and after every 30 compression you should give rescue breath to rescue breath and to rescue breath means you should lift the chin, pitch the nose and cover person's mouth with your mouth and give a breath. And you should visibly see her or his chest rise and repeat this uh, breath two times. Every 30 compression two breaths so 30 compression two breaths 30 compression two breaths if person is doing only compressions compression number should be 100 to 120 per minute this is ca cardiopulmonary resuscitation and after this we check bleeding if person bleeds bleeding can be arterial or venous bleeding if blood color is more bright and it's parting and it's pulsating is usually arterial ble bleeding if it's darker it's venous bleeding so during bleeding you should use direct compress direct compression can be with your hand with your clothes uh, and you should 
press directly on the wound and firmly and steady pressure this pressure helps to blood clot formation and stop bleeding if direct compression is not enough tourniquet is recommend recommended tourniquet if direct pressure is not sufficient use it, use tourniquet tourniquet applied two or three inches above the wound closer to the heart so if wound is here you should do tourniquet here that's the idea and usually tourniquet are uh, applied on limbs and tourniquet you should compress tight until the bleeding stops but using tourniquet is risky because it can damage whole limb that's why it's important so if direct compress is in enough then use direct compress that's all i wanted to say thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now